Well, it's 924 now on this Wednesday morning where we talk with Weston Scythoff over at Workforce Solutions. If you're thinking about getting back into the workforce or even getting into the workforce to begin with, maybe changing careers, Weston is your guy. And uh, right now, a little behind the scenes work with work. W E R C. What does that stand for? The Workforce Education Readiness Continuum. Okay. Um, I know it's another acronym, and it's yeah. <laughs> all we ever need is another acronym. Yeah. But what it is is basically a new a new way of looking at employment services. Basically, a way, looking at the entire range of um, situations that people are in. Oh, I see. Because you, know, you have people who um, don't speak English very well, dropped out of high school, um, have a disability. You've got veterans, you've got people who've been laid off, they've got plenty of skills, but they can't find a job. So you have this wide range of really diverse people in Austin all looking for the same thing. A which job. Is a job and some kind of career, right. sustainable career. And so what we're doing with a lot of um, community partners is we're, we're trying to take a continuum approach to that. Understanding that there is, um, from the, you know, I, don't, I hesitate, to say, hesitate to say bottom, but from low skill to high skill, there's sure. a certain continuum that you, that you must go along to get these high wage and demand jobs. Okay. Um, you know, for instance, just to give you an idea of kind of what we're tackling, um, you know, we've got over 69,000 people in Austin who don't speak English fluently. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Right. We've got, and that's only growing. Um, Austin's one of the fastest growing cities. Texas is one of the fastest growing states, and a lot of that sure. growth is... Um, from the Latin American world, and so there's a lot of uh, Spanish-speaking people on, uh, from other places, too, that just aren't fluent in, in English. Um, you've got um, over 100,000 people who, didn't, who haven't graduated high school. Not to say they're not working or they don't have some skills, but they just don't. A lot of times, to get into those in-demand jobs, you've got to have... At least a high school diploma. Exactly right. Yeah. Um, add that to people who are disabled, veterans, um, victims of violence, of... of Catastrophes. You've got all these people with all these really um, diverse and challenging uh, barriers to, to employment. And so, what we're doing with with the, with the partners is is basically setting up this continuum work, and we're saying no matter what no matter what your situation is, no matter what you need, um, we're going to plug you into the right place and get you going towards that in demand job towards self sufficiency. Well, and I think that's interesting because I think you do have a workforce out there that's unemployed because of layoffs, yep. but they were the, you know, Dell computers or the Samsung right. or the, you know, AMD. I mean, these high-skilled jobs, yeah. so they're not looking for that entry-level position. Right. But then vice versa, like you said, people that um, maybe immigrants or um, or don't have a lot of skills or maybe even moms exactly that right. um, didn't complete high school or don't have a college education, and now they're getting back into the workforce. Right. So this is really interesting. Okay, we've got about a minute left. Now there's some negotiating behind right. the scenes right now. When can we see this continuum take place? Well, it will launch, if everything goes according to, pl to the schedule, it will launch on April 1st of next year. Oh, okay, great. So, and then we'll have plenty of time to get everything ready um, and, and get all of our partners in line. We've got partners like Goodwill, Austin Area Urban League, um, Austin Academy, ACC, Travis County Government. So, it's, it's a big, a lot of smaller uh, organizations, too, that, that do literacy services and right. adult basic ed services. So, you know, 11 different partners, including us, so 12 total. Um, yeah. And uh, so, we're working with the city now to, to get things straightened out on a contract and, and get going on April 1st. Okay, all in an effort to uh, employ the Austin area. That's great stuff. Weston Scythoff is over at Workforce Solutions. If you need a job or need those resources, head to our website, myfoxaustin.com, and we can get you hooked up with Weston. Thank you, sir.